I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the boosters black to match. Riding so guys, we're gonna be going over what happened when I shadowed Steven today. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain to you before when I was in the classroom because we don't have any footage of that. So pretty much I this is this was his third period, I believe. I didn't go to any of his other classes and this was his history class, so I walked into his history class. We sit down, I put my head down because I didn't want the teacher to see me obviously. And then, so she talks about like this random stuff that's not really important. So then five minutes after class starts. So then they're making board games in their class. I don't know why, but they are. So then I go over to S Steven because I was supposed to be in his group. And she tells me, turn around right now. So I turned around and she said, you need to go back to your class. And I tell her, um, there's a problem with that. I don't go to school here. I'm shadowing Steven. And she was like, what? So she pretty much brings me to the front of the class. And so for her name for this, I'm going to call her Shrek. Because I obviously can't say her real name, so pretty much Shrek brings me to the front of the class. She gets on the phone. She calls some random guy and says, we need someone to escort them to the office. And then she calls Steven up, too. She's like, Steven, didn't you learn your lesson from the first time? Steven says, uh, I don't know. I didn't know what you wanted him to say because obviously he didn't learn his lesson if he did it again. So then pretty much some really chill guy, some random guy, he escorts us to the office. He's really chill. And then we get into the office, and that's where it goes all southwest. So we're pretty much just sitting down. For me, boy, we got caught. We got caught. They're like, they call our parents. They call Steven's parents first. And they pretty much tell them that there needs to be a, someone to pick me up. I couldn't ride home, which doesn't make sense to me. So they needed a parent to come get me. So pretty much his mom is talking to them for a while. And then they said to me, I'm endangering, quote, 1,800 students by being there. I'm endangering all of them by being there. And the funny thing is 1,800 students don't even go to school there. So... That doesn't even make sense by itself, so. Our campus. It also poses a possible threat to the other 1,850 students we have on our campus. Because again, we know nothing about this student. So, going on, they hang up the phone with Steven's mom, and then they call my mom. Crystal, so, um, me is the boy who came on your campus with Steven. Um, Steven's dad is coming to visit me. And at this time, Stephen goes to the, is in a separate office. They separate us away from each other. I don't know why they decide to separate us. So. Pretty much, I'm in one office and he's in another office. So then they call me over, she's like, Nathan, come here. Okay, by the way, they asked us to write our names down. I didn't write my name correctly. And so they call my mom. They make me give her for, for her phone number because that's the only way I could leave is if they have like consent for someone to pick me up. So pretty much, I go over there. She ta they talk to my mom. They tell her how I'm not supposed to be there and that I put them at risk for suing them if I get hurt. So I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. So then I go and sit back down and I start recording. So they call Steven's dad and they tell him that he needs to come pick me up. So he comes pick me up. So I get picked up. I'm good. I get my bike. I can leave. But then that's when Steven got screwed over. He's at Mr. I'm just going to call him Mr. Mr. Z. He's at Mr. Z's office. So he's just sitting there by himself just chilling there using his phone on Snapchat. And then Steven's dad goes over to Mr. Z. And Mr. Z somehow knows me, by the way. This is kind of creepy. I've never met him before, and somehow he knows me. And he asked Steven some questions about me that were, like, true. And he said that he saw me when I got on the campus. So, and then Mr. Z talks to Steven. He's really chill with Steven. And then, so he's just like, all right. Um, I could be really mad at you guys and get you guys both in trouble. But he's like, screw it. You guys can just go back to class. Steven goes back to class. I just do whatever. I just leave. So, yeah, and that's the end of it. But now, the real trouble gets in is when our parents come home, we get screwed over, guys. So, yeah. Wish us luck. Wish us luck, boys. And I'll see you guys the next time we go to school. Are you still recording?